Hello Guardians, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. In this video, I thought I'd actually like take a step back, especially from all the dungeon controversy that happened, like probably, I feel like it's a week ago now that happened. But anyway, sorry, we're going to be looking at the various different, I guess, pieces of content that will be coming out within the next, let's say, four months or so. Basically between now and Witch Queen, and what is included in uh, basically what pack. So obviously as I go through these, the prices should be displayed on screen. If they're not, then I was just too lazy, but usually the prices are general. It's I think the UK is the only one where it's like five of the currency cheaper than everywhere else. Like for example, if it's in euro or if it's in dollars, like if it's 60, for example, for something, it'll be the same. And then in um, pounds, it'll actually be 55. I think that has something to do with like how much more pounds cost or something like that. I, I, I can't remember my currency exchange stuff off by heart, so I apologize for that. But anyway, let's start with the 30th anniversary pack since that is going to be the first thing uh, up on the next content menu, especially since Bungie did say that November is basically just going to be a quiet month. So, on Bungie's official website, if you go to the Witch Queen part of it, underneath the Deluxe Edition 30th anniversary bundle, you can actually scroll all the way down and it tells you exactly what's in the 30th anniversary pack itself. So, for the 30th anniversary pack, we got a new dungeon, Galahorn Exotic Rocket Launcher, catalyst and ornament so yeah actually i'm not gonna lie i didn't even know galahorn was gonna have a catalyst so that's gonna be interesting and it's gonna have an ornament as well so i don't think it'd be iron galahorn because if they did that it'd be kind of weird because that was a pre-order bonus for rise of iron and then people probably just call them lazy for doing that new weapons inspired by past bungie world so obviously like previous bungie game uh inspiration will be put into them weapons there's going to be a thorn armor set which if i remember them off by heart like if I remember them, sorry, they actually look really good. Bungie Sweatwear Ornament Set. I believe that might be one of the sets that they showed off, which again look cool. A marathon themed ornament set. Unique helmet ornament. Oh, ornament. 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 Jesus, sorry. Apologies. Exotic sparrows, exotic ship, emblem shaders, emotes, and more. Now, I mainly wanted to do this video to break down prices and stuff of various different things especially with you know dungeons releasing and all that um can we talk about how much value you're actually getting out of this because it says emblem shaders emotes and as far as i'm aware emotes is set four so let's say they're all legendary emotes that cost roughly 500 to 700 that's 20 euro dollars uh obviously it would be 28 uh, euro dollars for just the emotes by themselves and again, here's the price of the anniversary pack on screen, so keep in mind of that, by the way. Obviously, with the dungeon, which technically costs, I guess, 20 because, like, the uh, two dungeons releasing in year 5. Well, actually, there is that, but it has access to seasons 16, 17, 18, and 19. So, technically, they are free, but you obviously you still have to pay to get them. But it's a weird kind of balance. Let's say if it didn't even include seasons, it actually would have been, like, 20 per dungeon. And, you know, just everything else in general. Like, we're getting full armor sets, and, like... Festival, the festival sets themselves cost 15 euro dollars. So, you're getting a lot of value out of even just the 30th anniversary pack like. Now, is this going to be content that lasts a long time? Probably not, no. I'd say like, based on this, if it's literally just you going into a dungeon or maybe doing a Galahorn quest as well on top of that, then that's cool. That's it, you know? And you get all that other stuff. The question is, do you really want it? It's up to you. I'm not really too big of a fan of too much of it but like again i like the thorn armor set and depending on what the sparrows and ships are like i might actually use them well except sparrows the one sparrow that shall not be named is the fastest let's just say that right moving over to the witch queen obviously that'll be the next one after that there's obviously a list here of uh, different stuff that's in this as well so in the standard edition of witch queen this is the uh, 40 euro slash dollar version you get a new campaign, weapon crafting, the new glaive weapon archetype, a new raid, exotic gear, and new six player activity. So as far as I'm aware, like new six player activity, it's probably something on the lines of like the things we got in the seasonal events. I'd hold my head high and hope that it's not. It's like, and it's like a menagerie kind of a thing. Cause if it was, that'd be pretty cool. They could do something interesting with that in Sabathun's uh, throne world. And maybe even have Sabathun be the one, like, voicing over it. I don't know. Like, just, again, that's speculation. Not true. I just see six-player activity, and I'm like, you know what? Might be cool. Might not. It depends. 
And obviously, if you pre-order it between now and the Witch Queen, you also get these three extra things, which is the Throne World Exotic Ghost Shell, which I've seen in game, and it looks that looks fantastic. I'd actually consider deleting one of my Ghost Shells just to have that shell on. The uh, Enigma Exotic Emotes, and then a Legendary Emblem. Obviously, uh, this is worth the €40. Euro. I can't stress enough how much Witch Queen will be worth the €40. Euro. Um, obviously, I just realised there, it didn't say new dungeon or anything, because obviously we're getting the dungeon in uh, the 30th anniversary event, and then we're getting the dungeon separately um, as a part of the Witch Queen Deluxe Edition, which can be bad in a sense, but if you think about it, like having a dungeon that's not tied to the story gives Bungie more like creative freedom to do what they want with it. Obviously, if they wanted to make a dungeon for the DLC itself, they would have like you know put it straight into there because you know would have given more value to the DLC itself. And yeah, just in general, like even just having access to the glaive is kind of cool. Now, will it be practical to use though? That's the next question, you know. And obviously, we're gonna have to wait and see until the Witch Queen releases itself. Now, if we move over to uh, the Witch Queen Deluxe Edition. Obviously, the previous stuff is included, so, like, again, campaign, weapon crafting, and all that. Uh, the pre-order unlocks are the same, but in the Deluxe Edition, which costs €80 Euro to dollars, uh, the Deluxe Edition comes with an exotic SMG, Catalyst and Ornament, access to Season 16 through 19, two dungeons to release in Year 5, so I assume, like, if anything, if I were to predict when the dungeons and raid are going to appear... I'd say we'll get the Witch Queen for, uh, let's see, Season 16. Then Season 17, we'll probably get that new dungeon released. I'd say Season 18 is around the time that Reprise Raid will be introduced, which, by the way, the raid is going to be free, so don't worry about it. Unless they haven't announced the price for it yet, which I doubt, but no, I think they did say, like, explicitly say, like, it's going to be free. And then, obviously, Season 19 will be another time where, like, the last dungeon will come in, depending on how that goes. And the Throne World Exotic Sparrow. Now, when you put even just the deluxe edition part of the text together, that's actually quite a bit of stuff. Like an exotic ornament, here's a price of that on screen. Then season 16 to 19, that's 40 euro in and upon itself. Then you're getting two extra dungeons and an exotic sparrow, which again costs a certain amount as well. So again, I feel like, like now that I'm looking at the bullet points and what you're getting and not getting, well, what you're getting, basically, because there's there's nothing that you wouldn't get that they would list here. But it, it's just, it's opened my mind. It's actually made me think, you know, actually, this mightn't be that bad as people pointed it out to be. It's just, again, people are just not used to dungeons being sold separately from a DLC. But obviously, within reason, it's cool, like the way it is now. And Bungie did also say that they are going to introduce an option to upgrade to the Deluxe eventually. When that will come is unknown, and I think they said anyway that they're going to like release uh, the dungeons separately in the future, which will probably become something like the Forsaken Pack. And now for the last one, the Deluxe Edition 30th Anniversary Bundle. I don't even need to read any of this because I literally just read this all already, but it's literally everything I've just labelled today, or to the this part of the video, in one bundle for €100. Euro. When you think about it, I think I did the maths already. You're saving like five euro slash five dollars. And honestly, if you're gonna get it all already, you might as well just get this, you know? Part of me has been looking into Game Pass and hoping that I could do something around with Game Pass, but I think I'm just gonna end up like getting the pre-order anyway so I can like just get in and do the dungeons when they release. Because obviously I'm a Destiny channel, I need to try and stay on top of this stuff. But again, I'm gonna wait until like probably near Christmas time before I start spending that amount of money on a few DLCs. But yeah, that'll be all Guardians. I just wanted to go over the uh, DLCs coming into the future and the uh, pieces of content that come with it. And hopefully in this uh, video, it's kind of clarified like what's in what, you know? Obviously, if you are confused by the way I talked about things or if I uh, talked about something else in the middle that kind of confused you, check the description. I'll have Bungie's uh, page there. I might even link the actual page. Actually, I'm gonna save that before I uh, forget. But other than that, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like. Comment on some of your thoughts of the Witch Queen and all that. Even if it is uh, blatantly just saying, like, whining or anything like that. You know what? That's all accepted. I'll have a look at it. Uh, if I don't like it or hurt it, then that means I don't know how to respond to you. I do apologize, but I most likely will see the comments anyway. Make sure to also subscribe and hit the bell if you do so desire. And I've been the night.
flyer here. Sorry, I'm feeling a bit good right now. I had to do a little ditty. Thank you for watching.